Morning everybody, I'm the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter. Welcome back to another episode. That sun's really, really bright. Uh, I haven't done a bit of recording for a while now. I've been really busy with my guided walks and, and fossil prep and stuff like that. But I'm finally back out on the wilderness. Winter is upon us, as you can tell. The frost is well and truly here now. So hopefully I will get out and do a lot more collecting because I've really, really missed it this summer. It's been absolutely fantastic with the you know with the guided walks and stuff like that i've really enjoyed taking people out but i'm looking forward to doing some collecting now so fingers crossed we'll have a good day today i've come to the old faithful i've come to albra um so yeah let's see how we get on tad's on its way out i'll see you soon Well, it's been a while since I've seen frost actually on the beach. That's when you know it's cold. Even the rocks are turning frosty. So it made it quite easy getting down the um, down the cliff because it was so hard. But imagine when it falls out, the, the, the cliffs will be very, very wet. Right, hopefully I'll see you very soon with a big fat ammonite. So it's not something I normally collect but that is a big chunk of pyrite so I might stick that in my bag and see if anybody wants it and then next to it there was just a little worn ammonite so that'll be a nice little cutter, a little polisher you just see the cross section sticking out Right, so we've got a really big ammonite in there. It's absolutely huge. There's my ammo for scale. Now that is a big block and it's very calcitic, so the likelihood is it's it's a bit crushed or something, but I'm gonna leave it there, I'm gonna get it on the way back. Because yeah, that's a beauty. If it's all there, that's gonna be absolutely amazing. You can see the ribbon on the outside here. Happy days! See there's loads of metal starting to wash up again which is a bit of a good sign I think there's some rough seas happening there's parts of old ammunition and wiring that's part of an old plough nails and rebar sheet metal there's all sorts going on so it's worth looking out in and amongst all the fine stuff though because you do get little pyrite ammonites and you see that there? That is a coin. So it's really really toasted but it's probably an half penny one of the more modern ones. A little something there. Maybe a shot. But yeah, it's definitely worth keeping your eye out amongst this stuff because you never know what gets washed up. Bit of a bullet there. Yeah, loads of bits and bobs down here. But we're not here for metal, are we? 
it's onwards and upwards there's a big see that sort of stuff you just want to leave alone for obvious reasons there's something different this is a really nice piece of coral it's got that ready pink tint to it so it'll cut and polish really really good look at all them polyps on it absolutely thousands of them yeah love that brilliant So this is unusual, it's not a fossil, but look at that, some lovely calcite crystals. I'll take that home and clean it up and it should be quite a nice piece. Lovely. Right, I've got a few pocket fossils here. There's a, it's really, really warm, but it's a large fragment of a, of an ammonite. It's full of calcite, so it'll cut and polish. Uh, there's a really pyritic nodule here. There is a couple of ammonites inside, so we'll see how that one goes. Probably what's enter out. A uh, little fragment of an ammonite. Nothing special. Huge gryphia. They're always nice to see. There's a monster on that. In the bag it goes. And uh, just another fragment. I thought it was a, a Ice Age tooth at first, but I think it's just a fragment. Right, I'm on my way back now. Hopefully that big ammonite's still there. That'll just fit in my bag because it's an absolute beast. So I'll see you soon. I've just found this nodule in the clay, I'll give it a it, and you can see there's a, I think it's an Elegantisaurus, or a Harper even maybe, but there's a big seam running right through, so loads of shells as well which is nice, very pyritic, but I'll take that like that, it's a big old lump as you can see. <sighs> Happy with that, that'll be lovely. Bag's gonna be every now though. Right, I got back to the ammonite, it was there, thank God, because there was quite a few people right round it. I was a bit nervous walking up to it, but uh, fingers crossed it's it's gonna be a good and I've reduced it quite a bit, so I'm gonna get straight on with prepping it when I get home. Uh, and I might add it onto this uh, video the finished article it might take a bit longer it might not be there so you never know uh, but yeah i'm on my way back bomb disposals here so no doubt they're gonna kick me off the beach anyway there's been a lot of ordnance washed out recently so go careful when you're on the beach <sighs> i don't think i'll be getting out else now the, the get up's only down there so if i don't see you again on today's video i will see you on the next adventure Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the website theyorkshirefossilhunter.co.uk if you want any preparation services, lessons, guided walks or any fossils. Uh, there's a wide selection on there. So yeah, thanks very much. See you soon.